All right, folks, welcome back to Hotline Miami 2. In the last part, <clears throat> uh, we went through a tower and just sort of, you know, murdered the absolute shit out of a whole load of people. You know, no big deal. 1991. It's, it was with the times, I suppose. Right, hello. Hi there, welcome. What can I help you with? I'd like to get a tattoo. Right, you got anything particular in mind? I want old Dixie, right here on my shoulder. Okay, sure. Let me see here. Alright, how does next Friday 2pm sound? Friday? What do you mean? You can't do it now? It has to be today. Today's a special occasion. I'm celebrating! Sorry, boss. Can't help you. We're all booked for days. Oh, is that so? What kind of business are you running here? You just lost yourself a customer, you Russian asshole. Oh my god. Whatever you say, boss. Oh man, I do not miss working in Mackey's. Uh, that was, yeah. Hmm. I don't. I now no longer like playing as you, Jake. Kind of a dick. I'd like to welcome our next guest on the show. Is that Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> Famous from critically acclaimed movies such as Blue Ocean, The Calm, and Land of Trees. Here's Martin Brown. Hi, Martin. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> now your latest film is a bit of a step in a new direction for you. A lot of people are surprised by this. Some are even calling you a sellout. What is your response to that? Sellout, huh? What do you mean? Well, some are saying that Midnight Animal is just another slasher flick. That's not how I see it. I've wanted to do this for a long time. Kill, kill, oh my god. Strangle them, beat people's heads at Jesus, I forgot how brutal this game is. Rip their eyes out, okay. Just listen to them scream. See them die in agony. I finally got to do that now. Okay... Don't look at me like that. What? I see. This is a dream, right? What do you mean? This. All of this. It's just a dream, right? I'm not sure I follow. Okay, pause. Jacket. You think this is a dream? Well, then. Maybe it's time to wake up. Who are you? Who I am? I'm not the one being intervened. Interviewed here, am I? Intervened? You know what I mean? I think I should be the one asking the questions. This movie you're making, you know how it ends? I believe there's a pretty big twist at the end. I doubt you'll like it. In fact, I don't think anyone. Uh, skip dialogue. No! I don't think so. You really enjoy hurting other people, don't you? It's just a film. Oh, way to justify, dude. Just a film, huh? That's one way to look at it. Hey, I recognize this place. Wait, who's in the... Oh, there she goes. You know, I could never tell if that like, green patch out there is just grass, or it's like, carpet, or what. It's the computer. I'll be right with you, just bear with. The girl screams as the pig butcher enters the interrogation room. The police next to her falls off his chair, hitting his head. She tries to get away, but the pig butcher catches hold of her arm. He forces her down to the ground. She screams as he... Yikes. Okay, that's pretty brutal. Looks like the police... Looks like the police is here. The girl must have told on you. You better go along obediently. They'll take you to her. That's what you want, isn't it? Hold it right there, sir. We're here to arrest you. You need to come with us. We'll take you down to the station. D do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, uh, Final cart. Oh, look at the blood. We know what you've been up to, and you're gonna fry for it. The girl's upstairs, giving us a full statement right now. Soon they'll be on their way down here for you. Until then, you're stuck with me. 
I'd like to ask why you did what you did, but you don't even know yourself, do you? Look at you. You're fucked. Completely fucked. In the head. Aren't you? Why else would anyone be killing kids in a pig's mask, huh? It's... The phone. You should answer it. I'll say it again. There is no phone. I don't see no phone and I don't hear no phone, okay? It's just a figment of your imagination. You hear me? You're insane. A maniac. And soon enough, you will pay for your crimes. The telephone. You're not gonna answer. There's just no point talking to you, is there? You're a rookie mistake, buddy. Never turn your back on a slasher killer. You know what needs to be done. He's not even looking. It's like he wants you to kill him. Quick. Hurry, buddy. Shit. Yep. Um. Praying is the right thing to do right now, buddy. Who's the this jam here? Oh, hell yeah. Ah, shit. Ah. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, I got back! Oh shit, I didn't even realize he was there. Give me that gun, give me the gun, give me the gun! Give me the gun! Give me the gun. No. <laughs> oh man, I fumbled that so bad. Shit. Oh. Shotgun. Hey buddy! Oh, there he goes. Last one should be in here. Hey, and fresh shotgun to go. Stay in here, you'll be safe. I'm gonna go see what's going on. Don't open the door until I get back, no matter what. Alright. I was in the middle of something there. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. How are you? Oh, that's a rough way to go. Girlfriend. Oh, rejected, buddy. That's rough. Oh, there he goes. Oh, let's restart. Cut. No need for a retake. That was perfect. Uh, good job, guys. Spectacular performance. Only got a few more shots to shoot before we can move on to editing. Why don't you grab something to eat while we put up the new set pieces? Just make sure you're back in 30 minutes, okay? 
time is money. You heard him, Martin. Time to get up. Martin? Oh, buddy, that's rough. Rip. Well, that was certainly something, wasn't it? Gun backfired. Turned out to be a prop gun. It was a little more heavily loaded than we thought. Uh, well, what can you do? B plus! Mm. Well, time for the second act. Time to start rising. What's rising? I don't know. Hey, November 5th! That's a day away from my birthday. Now, the defendant claims that he was ordered to commit these murders through messages left on his answering machines. Do you investigate the did you investigate these claims? Yes, we did. And what did you find? Well, the defendant's answering machine was empty. The tape had been removed. Did you find anything supporting these claims of threatening phone calls? No, sir, we did not. I see. No further questions. You say you found no physical evidence supporting my client's claims. Then what about phone records? Surely the police would have no difficulty accessing such information. Indeed, we did investigate the defendant's phone records. And did you find any calls on record that could support my client's claims? We did, sir. The defendant seems to have received phone calls that match the time frame which he suggests, but... Did you manage to trace these calls? If so, where did they come from? We traced the calls to a nightclub called the Golden Truck Stop. Yes. Now, my client claims that he was coerced by the Russian Mafia to commit the crimes for which he is now being prosecuted. Do the police have any knowledge of ties between the Golden Truck Stop and the Russian Mafia that could support my client's claims? The venue has been linked to several mob-related crimes in the past, yes. However, that would be all. Thank you. No further questions. The witness may step down. The court will now be adjourned. Proceedings will continue tomorrow at 11am. Meanwhile, the defendant will remain in police custody. Oh, we've got a reporter fella here. Oh, so that's jacket, huh? Oh, it is. Well, I got the jacket. Uh, that's Richard, Tony, Aubrey. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. Got the handgun. Uh, people on jury. Not particularly interesting. Just checking something in a second. Okay. You have reached the Miami Police Department. How may I help you? I would like to talk to Detective Pardo. Tell him it's from Evan. One moment, please. Click. What do you want, Evan? I'm in the middle of something here. Hi, Manny. I'm at the courthouse doing research on that mask maniac. What's that got to do with me? Well, they mentioned the Golden Truck Stop, something about mob connections. So? I was wondering if you know anyone there that I can talk to. That's privileged information, you know. I can't talk about it. You know I can't talk about things like that. Look, I'm really busy here. Don't be like that now. You owe me one, remember? Fine. Go to Northwest 37th Avenue. Ask for Petrov and tell him I sent you. Can't promise he'll talk. But it's the only name I've got. Don't call me at work again, okay? No more favours. Right then. I'll have to go fight some dudes, probably. Uh, so this must be a courthouse, I'm guessing, then. Anything up here? Nope. Oh, hey, it's the fans. Uh, look at these guys. Biker's here too, actually, I notice. Oh. That's the guy from the first game that we played in the second half. First trial! Oh, they're right there, sir. You need an invitation to get in. I'm here to see Petrov. Tell him Detective Pardo sent me. I don't think so. If you don't have an invitation, you better leave. Maybe, maybe not 
murder is where we're going with this, huh? That would be a pretty goddamn tanky dude. Oh, somebody call an ambulance. It's been an accident. Is there anyone here? Okay, so the gimmick for this level is that we don't actually have to kill everyone. We can do it sort of, kind of, sort of pacifist. I forget how to get off of dudes once you start punching them. Oh, that's cool. Here's a little disarm. Ah, I forgot about AK. Ow. Wow, Evan, man, you were such a tank, Jesus. Just uh, grab these guns here. You don't need them. Let me just grab that bat. We're gonna need that for upstairs, methinks. Quickly! Oh, he's in the window. Oh, okay. Well, this is looking good, boys. Go, go, go! Yeah, 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 we got it. Do I risk it? I think I do. Go, go! Where the hell are you? I'm... Are you Petrov? I'm writing a book about the mask maniac. Detective Pardo told me I could talk to you about it. Detective Pardo told you that? Are you a friend of yours? Yeah, that's right, sir. Not a very good friend, I take it. Sending you here, of all places. No, I reckon you're right about that, sir. This book you're writing, it must be very important to you. Risking your life to come talk to me, who sure got balls. Well... What is it you want to know? You get two questions. Then you get the fuck out of here. Alright. The police claims the mass murderers were a part of a vigilante movement. Are you of the same opinion? No. I don't think they were vigilantes. They were much too organized. They know our exact locations and had insight into our inner workings. I don't know what they were a part of, but it has no group of vigilantes. Why do you think they targeted the Russian Mafia specifically? What were they after? Now, I can't tell you what they were after, but... They effectively destroyed a whole organization. And then they were gone. They knew what they were doing. And they seemed to be trained very well. We caught a couple of them alive. Tried to break them. Not one of them talked. Not a single one. Alright, no more questions. Get the hell out of my sight. Well, I think that went pretty well. Just waltzing on in, beating everybody's face in. Nobody died. Oh, yeah, that guy's turned his arm into a spaghetti noodle. Jesus. What the statue is that? Uh, well, whatever. We're done here. Ah, oh, sorry, buddy. You've... Well, that could have been worse, I think. Yeah, I think we did pretty well. How did we do score wise? B plus! I agree, I'm just disappointed. Okay, we're going to call it there for part two, folks. I will see you in the next one. Peace.